Welcome back to you all. Thank you for tuning in for the next part of the epic journey of Kalapa Batas Staff University, Sains, Malaysia. Thank you if you retweeted or otherwise advertised the previous episode. I promise that this will not be quite as long. Might have got a little bit carried away in the last episode. But welcome to my club. Here they are. Napai, Santuru, Hakim... Names that are already very familiar to you because they are awesome. I'm actually very happy with this team, but I've got some people to get rid of. And we're going to get rid of them now because if I don't get rid of them, I end up in a scenario where I can't get better people in. So it's going to cost me a fortune. It doesn't matter. It means nothing. Absolutely nothing. They're just going to keep giving me loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of money. And I'm going to keep spending it and more. So all of these players, they're a bit rubbish, but Ming Fei, worryingly, has ended up in the team proper, which isn't good. So I need to find out what position he's been put in so we can get rid of him and get somebody better in. Right, we're just going to mutually terminate the contracts of all of these people because they are not very good. You see, it's annoying because he's got the potential to be a fairly good player, but he isn't. He's not very good at all, so... How many of these can I get rid of? Oh, Arshad is not willing to mutually terminate his contract. Well, of course he isn't. Because that's not what I want to do. And Malik is concerned. He wants to discuss things with me. Well, I'll tell you what we can discuss. You being released. There we go. You're all gone now. Ooh, no, hang on. Oh, I love the way he would take a contract straight back, despite the fact that I've just got rid of him. And there we go. If we go back to the finance page, you'll see how bad things are. Uh, actually, I've lost the finance page. Where's it gone? Where's my finances? There. So, yeah, at the moment, we're um, quite deeply in the red. Despite the fact the chairman have pumped about 300,000 into it already. I don't think I'm even out my first week yet. And my wage budget is around somewhere as well. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, the difference at the moment is uh, £325 per week more than it should be, which uh, is hilarious. Works for me. Anyway, if you want to know the result of the Hong Kong Canton Interport Cup, which obviously you do, um, it looks like Guangdong Province might well have gone through there. I'm not sure who's actually won that. But uh, there we go, all the free transfers, they've all gone. That gives me the opportunity to flex my muscles in the transfer market once more for a replacement for all the rubbish. Now, I could apply for some of these. Malaysia under-23s, perhaps uh, Brunei under-23s. That sounds like a laugh a minute, that job, doesn't it? Yeah, we won't be doing that. But yeah, what I need is a replacement for this person. So where... Oh, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Where are you? Central. Central defence. I've got loads of central defenders on... Struggling with the idea that we haven't got anybody better than you. But let's go off and see what I can get. Player search. We need central defence. Oh, there's a right defence there. There's a central defender there. Oh, I can't quite see. There we go. Masrom. I think we've looked at him before. He's not getting any younger, but he would still be regarded as an important player for the team. How much money does he want? Too much. I'd rather get young players in for that, frankly. I'm interested in the left-hand side ones, because they can be retrained. This guy can play all over the left. Let's get his report card, shall we? Mr. Baharom. And then we've got this guy, Agan. You see, he doesn't look too good to me. But we'll get a report card on him as well. If there's going to be a dearth of central defenders... I'm going to have to start training my youth to central defenders a little bit better. So, Baharom, he's pretty good. He's got three stars in ability and five stars in potential. Um, actually, I don't want to offer him a trial. I want to offer him a contract. Is he cheap? No. Would he accept a massive bung? Yes, I'm sure he probably would. No, he's going to be difficult about it. Fine. Agan, you see, he's not great. He's not great. He's only got one and a half ability and three and a half potential. That's not good. 
It's all much of a muchness, to be honest with you. In Malaysia, you only need players who are just a little bit better. But uh, the FA Cup has drawn us against KL Maju Holdings, who I'm sure are a um, powerhouse of world football. And then randomly, they draw the next round as well. So if we get past KL Maju Holdings, we'll be playing Johor MPM or Selangor MPS. Selangor MPS, I think. Are they my feeder club or are they the parent club of my feeder club? I'm not sure. But anyway, rearranging all my matches, all of them. So time for the under 20s to go out and destroy. Uh oh. Mr. Angal An Balagan is suffering from a cold. Oh, send him home. We don't want his cold. Ugh. Horrible. Then uh, Mohammed Naim Ahmad has bruised a rib. Mohammed Zamir Khalid has bruised his thigh. But on the plus side, the under 20s have won 4 1. <laughs> oh. They're going to be completely dominant, this I am quite happy of. Right, going to go back to the old transfer centre here. Have a little look again. You see, you can only have, I think it's three foreign players in this game. But I actually really, I say only, I really like the fact you can have three foreign players because some really interesting people start coming out of the woodwork. So if Indonesian players are starting to come onto my list, this is good. Yeah. Was there a reason why I didn't try to sign Fariz as Maui? Is he expensive? I'm not sure. Let me get his report card. I've no doubt some better staff are probably starting to be available to me as well. Right. Septonio... Echo Septone Sept oh sorry, it's Septiono. We should sign him whatever the price, apparently. Really? He's quite flary. He's got good teamwork. How much does he want? Loads. Oh not mm, mm, not massive amount. I reckon with a super bung he'd come. No? No? You're disappointing me, sir. Do you not do you not want to No. No. No, he doesn't want to come. And uh, Fariz Asmawi. He doesn't look amazing to me, but if I get him on the cheap... Oh, I see, he wants loads of money as well. That's no good. I can't afford decent players. And then we've got somebody called Hartono. Hartono. What is he like? Get a proper report card on him. The under-20s have got a lot of matches here, haven't they? But we want to see the under-20s destroying everything. That's my plan. Really good under-20s team equals really good senior team eventually. And then they all get picked for the national team and none of them can play for you. 2-0. 2-0. Garsley. Garsley's looking pretty good. Who scored the other one? Ah, oh, Azizi Ahmad. Okay. God, plenty of bookings in that. Wow. Wow. What were they doing? Not complaining. Anyway, how's Hartono? Oh, he's not amazing. If we look on the right-hand side, he's not, not the best. Not really. Nah, we'll leave him for the time being. Probably have to pay money for him, which uh, I don't want to do. Might have to get rid of some more players at this rate. Okay, so, it's time for a game against, is that Johor? I'm not sure. Um, better attend the press conference or get told off if I don't. You've had a bit of a break and it's now 10 days since your last fixture. How do you see that affecting the players? Well, I don't see it being an issue. In fact, it has allowed us to be extra prepared for this fixture. The draw for the FA Cup has been rather kind to USM, matching your side against KL Maju Holdings, who sound like a haulage company rather than a football team. Um, I think we'll say um, it's been favourable and gives us a chance of qualifying. Who do you think will win the Malaysian Premier League title this season? I'd like to see 
us win it, to be honest. We are an option, but I better say no comment. Otherwise I'll just anger everybody. <laughs> That'll be the end of that. Right, let's do this. But we've got some news first. Malaysia have been drawn with Vietnam, Laos, Singapore and the Philippines. And uh, they're also bidding for the Asian Games. Can we afford that? Would you not rather put your money into my team? The best team in the world? Right, Mr Ishmael, what do you think? What do you think? We've still got Shanchuru on the wing here who can't really play that wing, but nevertheless seems to be doing quite well. I'm still not convinced that Ming Fei is my best option for central defence here. I've got a lot of central defenders. I also think I should probably be sending some of these people down to the youth squad now. So certainly the 16-year-old goalie can go down. Um, who else have we got? Hisham. Hisham can go down. There we go. And, uh, oh, of course, uh, Gasly. Gasly might as well go down for the time being. Um, I don't think I can see anybody else. I think that will do. So, here we go. We've got Hakim up front, but unfortunately Napai is injured. Which is bad, because I like him. Anyway, look at their morale. Their manager's not doing very well. What we're going to say is, we're going to be assertive and say, Go out there and impress me! And Che Omar looks delighted. He looks delighted that I'm getting assertive. Here we go. Okay, this isn't good. That's that's a guy called Gary, and um, he's he's just he's just sc scored. Why are we allowing people called Gary to score? Why is there even anybody called Gary in, in, in the Malaysian league? What's what's going on? I don't need to see it again. Thanks. That was um, that was awful. Good grief. Well, should we try that again? Weather's terrible, isn't it? Really, really terrible. Oh, oh, Hakeem just having a little pop there. Don't do that. It was actually been put down as a V-Nod own goal. How awful. Well, he'll never do that again. Largely because if he does, I'll kill him. <laughs> right, this is bad, guys. Although that was good clearance by V-Nod there. Do you want to not... No, thank you. Well, there's a little bit of excitement, but I don't... I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this kind of thing. I want us to get out of our own half for a start. That would be very helpful. What's happened to my man-to-man -man marking? Nobody's marking Gary. Uh, Gary just put the ball out and he didn't mean to. Ha, 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 Gary. Ha, ha. Gary Stephen. Do you think he is actually... I don't know. Malaysian in any way? I doubt it. Maybe they've already got an English coach and they're starting to get English players in, eh? Right, come on, Hakim, do your stuff. When I say do your stuff, I don't mean that. Right, here we go. That's it. Oh, do oh, no. Right, Mr Chanturu's got the ball. Ming Fei. Mohamed Noor, who's faffing about, and the faffing about has resulted in Gary getting the ball again. We're going to have to crunch Gary, you know. Can we man-to-man -man mark on Gary, please? <gasps> Oof. Oh! 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 Srit what are you doing? Don't do that. Oh, you see what's happened now? You see what's happened now? I don't know why it keeps featuring Gary. Gary didn't score that, but yeah. Oh, I'm sure he was involved in some way. Oh, what a header. You see, Gary was lurking. If Omar hadn't got that, Gary would have got that. Right, we need to get this Gary. I need to put him on my list. Oh, that was a dive. Goodness sake. Oh, showing cards to my players. You can stop that. This is really bad, guys. This is just, like, seriously embarrassing. What's going on here? That was terrible. Really, really bad. I'm going to yell at you. I'm going to be aggressive and I'm going to say I'm far from pleased with what I just saw for this team. There we go. 
There we go. Right, let's have a let's have a little look at my instructions here. We've got man marking. It sure as hell didn't look like we were man marking, did it? I'm not impressed. Wonder who's gonna win the league then, hey? Hey? Hmm? Will it be these people? Oh, his man. Man's got the ball. Pass to Hakeem. Hakeem, he passes back to Man for no good reason whatsoever. Hakeem! Oh dear. Oh no. Awful. Awful. Right, let's... In a minute we'll have a look at this Gary dude. Oh, hello. Man has just assisted Mr. Abedin in a goal. Get in. Well, that's something, at least in front of their supporters as well. <laughs> the cheering, the massive cheering for there being all of about 60 people in the stadium is a bit silly, but hey. Good, nice goal, actually. Yeah, it was good. It was good, we need another one now. But I do want to have a quick look at Gary as well. If we could stop the, stop the game at some point, that'd be good. Right, where is my man-to-man -man marking? Because this is not man-to-man -man marking, is it? Perhaps we need to be more pressing in our marking, eh? There's a thought, actually. Oh, 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 no. Oh, 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 no. Oh. Got a corner, though. Got a corner. Mr. Man, are you going to take my corner? No, you're going to walk off. Do you want to get the ball first? Yeah? yeah? There we go. Thank you. Here comes the man. Oh, no. <gasps> Srit Moran just got flattened. What's that about? Stop flattening him, please. Right, come on, guys. We've got to get our own back here. Oh, no! Mr. Hakeem was offside. Well, that sucks. So close. So close. So much action. Oh, whoop, whoop. Think They nearly had an own goal of their own, then. <gasps> come on, Mr. Chancheroo. You are better than everybody else. Not when you do that, admittedly, but you are better than everybody else, really. Not this again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, Mr. Sritmarin, what are you doing? Just stop it, would you? Probably going to have to take him off, you know. I'm concerned he's going to end up getting sent off at this rate. Have I got a right? Yes, I have. Right defender there, and we're going to get Mr. Abedin off because he's knackered. We're going to put Mr. Bakar on. Yay for Mr. Bakar. There we go. Lovely. Right. We are not getting anything but Mr. Stephen there. He nearly scored. Right, let's have a look. He is Malaysian. Isn't that weird? He looks good. Let's get his report card. He looks good. We're having him. If only because his name's English. Right, here we go then. Oh, Mr. Vnod, what are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. That's it. Yes, Mr. Bacar. Yes, Mr. Bacar. That's what I brought you on for. Run. Run. No, don't pass it backwards. Run. Run, Mr. Bacar. Run. What are you doing? Idiots. Yes, Mr. Man. Yes, Hakeem. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ho, ho, ho. I think that was an awesome save. I think that just went out into the street. Can we have our wall back? Right, come on. Come on. Who's taking the pen uh, the uh, corner penalty? Mr. Chantaru. Yes, he flies it in. Baka! Oh! <laughs> so close, I tell you what. We're not far off, are we? We're not far off. I think I might say to them, it's time for a bit of attacking. Yeah. Go and attack, please. Get it forward. Now! Now, now, now! Run, Mr. Hakeem! Oh, he can't be offside again. What a fix. What a fix. Total rubbish. Nonsense. Three minutes of injury time. Come on. Ah. Oh. Well, that's no good, is it? Poor, 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 poor. Actually, only one person was poor. And funnily enough, it was Ming Fei who I need a replacement for. Okay, I'm going to calmly say... I'm far from pleased. There we go, that's motivated a couple of people. That was really rubbish, guys. I mean, seriously, that was rubbish. I'm not impressed. On the plus side, 
I am being credited for moving the ball about. Well, good. Right, Gary Stephen, look at him. Five and five, but they want 45k for him. Can't do that. I tell you what, I will offer you, right, no money at all. How does that work for you? Sounds good to me. <sighs> right. Meanwhile, I feel like I need to give people a bit of a, a bit of a rest day. So uh, I should be able to go to Defenders and assign all rest for two days. And Midfielders will get a rest for two days. And Forwards will get arrested for two days. And have we got anybody on conditioning? No. And I suppose goalkeepers really probably should. I'll give them one day off. Because they don't do as much work as everybody else, do they? There we go. Funny enough, they've rejected the offer. For, I can't imagine why. Should we make another offer? But this time, right? You can have no money at all. But I will give you Yi Ming Fei. Yeah? Eh? And you can also have... Um... You can have the other Bacar, not the real Bacar. <laughs> not the real Bacar. Oh, whoops. I just accidentally pressed continue there when I didn't mean to. I was in the middle of making an offer. An offer they can't refuse. Actually, they can totally refuse it. Uh, oh, look at the... Look at the under-20s. Five? Five? God, destroying everything. Anyway, I was making an offer for Mr. Stephen. Right. Yi Ming Fei, and you can have the fake Mr. Bacar, who I now can't find. Oh, he's there. There. You can have him. Yeah? How do I add him? How do I add him? Uh, add other Mr. Bacar. How do I, how do I add him to the, oh, there we go, exchange player. There we go. I think that's a Fairly good offer, to be frank. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's go back to the transfer market. Try and find this central defender that I can't find. Elusive. Got Mr. Mazrom still, but he's expensive. Got a guy underneath him called Fawzi. You see, he's 19. And look, he's got excellent natural fitness and that sort of thing. Let's get his report card. He looks like the kind of person I'd be likely to offer a contract to, I reckon. He is hoping, anyway. Mind you, my scouts will tell me anybody's good because compared to what I've already got, <laughs> anybody is. Oh, look, we're going to be playing Bacteria. That's what I call them. NS Bacteria. Right, here we go. He's, uh... He's not completely dreadful. He's not exactly brilliant either. I don't know whether he would be better than Ming Fei, but he does come cheap. And cheap, that's my kind of thing. If we can get even cheaper... No, seriously, I mean it. Like, really cheap. Yeah, there we go. Might not be the best idea, but... Uh, yeah, they're not, not having it, are they? Not having it with uh, Gary Stephen, am I, Gary? One day, one day, we'll have you. Okay, right. Time to stop all that nonsense, and... I think I will name an unchanged side, or rather my assistant will name an unchanged side. But uh, Abedin had a terrible game last time, look at that. 5.7. That's that's awful. I mean, that's really, really bad. Perhaps I should put the other Bacar on. The fake Mr. Bacar. We could have Bacar and Bacar. Oh my god, we actually could. We could have Edrus, who probably needs a bit of fitness. We'll, we'll put him on and we'll just see whether he's any better. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not impressed. Not impressed. 5.7. That's terrible. But I thought against bacteria we'd do alright then, because they're not exactly brilliant, are they? Oh, look at them. Upset bacteria. Right. I'm going to calmly say, show me what you can do! That wasn't very calm, was it? Show me what you can do. That's as calm as I'm going to get. Here comes the man. The man passes to Edrus. No! <gasps> Shanturu! No, here's the man! Oh, that! Oh, no! That's it. Over the top to the man. The man comes in. No. Oh, dear. It's Mr. Srip Moran. Oh, got a corner. Got a corner, sir. The crowd don't like it. I don't care. I love it. Right, come on. 
Come on, Mr. Chanteru, we're watching you. You need to hurry up. Float it in. Ooh, got another corner. Should be Mr. Man. It's the man taking it on the other side. Come on, guys, get on with it, please. Good grief. Referee's just running around like a nutter, isn't he? In, in oh dear, no. Strip Moran! Ooh, bad idea. Bad idea. But hey. We, uh, we're we doing all right and we're injuring people. That's excellent. Uh-oh. Woof. Terrible. Terrible. Lucky you got the ball back then. That was a dreadful, dreadful kick. Please keep doing that. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, we don't want any of that. Get it out, please. Go and start attacking. Don't give it back to the goalie. Give it to the man. What do you... Stop. Is there a, like, stop faffing option? Tactics. No faffing. Right, Mr. Edrus, come on. Impress me, please. Doing. Oh, what a goal! <gasps> Mr. Abidin! Good grief! That was awesome! How did you do that? I haven't taught you to do that. Clearly somebody's teaching you things in training. Watch this! Kapow! Good look well, sir. If you carry on doing that, I'm going to be very, very happy. That was an amazing goal. Right, can we have another one? Oh, no, we can't. A few more people here, I know. Bacteria have obviously got more fans. Is it because they're breeding? Uh, whoa! <gasps> Edris has scored! Edris has scored because their goalie is awful. What terrible goalkeeping that was. Good grief. Let's just watch this again. It's not not a bad little dink there by old Ming Fei, but that was appalling goalkeeping. Ming Fei, I'm not letting you have an assist for that. <laughs> That's just cheating. But Edris has scored at least. That should get his morale up. Well, we're all over the bacteria. Good grief. Look at this. Playing calmly, playing with confidence. I'm going to uh, I'm going to assertively say that I'm pleased with how things are going. Oh, they are delighted. They're delighted. I'm delighted. I'm very pleased. But against bacteria, we should probably be scoring at least five. Here we go again then. Oh, oh no. Oh no, hang on. Oh, we're all right. That was a bit pinball-y. I'm sure we just sent that ball the wrong way then. But anyway. Bacteria's fans very disappointed there, but uh, but no, not going to happen. Here comes Hakim. He's been a bit quiet, but he's coming in. And oh, <sighs> he's not doing very well at the moment, is he? He seems to have forgotten how high a goal is. Right, can we can we not do that, please? Thank you, Mr. Hamza. Thank you. Right, here comes the man. The man. That's a very weird pass, but. Edrus was chasing there, but uh, he knows he'll never score again. That was the luckiest goal ever that he just scored there. Bacteria's fans are walking out. They've had enough, and who can blame them? <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Time to get some substitutes on, I think. Right, I'm impressed with Edrus. He is doing better. So, let's take... Um, let's take Che Omar off, and we'll put... And Balogun, who seems to be back from injury, just. And we're going to put Kasim on for Abedin, because I don't want Abedin to get sent off. I'll leave it at that. There we go. Excellent. Here we go. Here we go again. Oh, oh. Nope. I tell you what, Chanturu is very good at winning corners, isn't he? He keeps kicking the ball against the opposition players. Do you want to hurry it up, guys? Seriously. Oh, that was awful. That was a terrible corner. I'd like to give him some corner practice. Look at that guy giving it all there, down by the Sega sign. Here we go. Here's the man. The man is still with the man. Hakim. He's going to turn inside. Oh, once again. If we were playing rugby, sir, you'd have scored loads of points. But we're not playing rugby, we're playing football, and frankly, that's rubbish. Right, Hakim again. Edrus, Edrus, still with Edrus. He's got it back. Stripmaran. 
Chantaru, Edrus, Kasim. Oh dear. Clearly Hakeem's been teaching you how to play football. Right, come on, let's get a third. We deserve it, Mr. Edrus. Go on. Oh. Guys, keep it down. Keep it down. Two minutes of injury time. Well, I think we've got utterly dominant against the bacteria there. I think I can passionately say a very nice victory. Well done. Well done. That was pretty good. Pretty happy with that. That puts us into fourth. I know we've only played three games, but it puts us into fourth. That's good. Let's just have a look at the attendance. 437. It was still a lot of noise for 437 people. Quality of possession providing victory. Ed Druce obviously scored his first goal. I suppose I'm going to have to go to the press conference. How pleased are you by the result? We were excellent. Ed Druce got his first league club. Sorry, try again. League goal for the club. How important is it for a new striker to get off the mark? It's vital. Abedin got man of the match. He was a, he played a good solid game. It wasn't absolutely outstanding, but a good solid game. There we go. That'll make them all happy. I've publicly praised everybody. They will love it. They will love it. They'll be going, look at me. There we go. PR. That means thrilled to bits with me. Talking about him in the media. That's excellent. So we'll play this one last under 20s game here, I think. Oh, apparently Mohamed Noor is unhappy with training. Well, live with it. <laughs> we better hold this backroom advice meeting as well. Not happy, not happy, don't care. Scout him. Ignore all the squad status stuff. Squad harmony's gone up quite a lot. That's good. That's what I like, a bit of squad harmony. I find that always wins things in the lower leagues. And Salim is a eligible professional contract. What I'm actually going to do is sack him. I know that's terrible and cruel, but frankly, he's awful. So off you go. If you were under any illusions about getting a professional contract, they were all wrong. There we go, he's gone. The under-20s have won yet again. Um, Jamaluddin, it turns out, isn't very good. Oh, hello, we've got an Argentinian here called Juan Dario Batalla. Bet he's awesome. Bet he's awesome. How much? Oh, he wants 750 quid. Would he come in for a bung? N no. <laughs> 650 quid? No, no, sir. You don't understand. I can't afford that kind of money. But what if I give you like a like a 75 pound goal bonus? And uh, what if we give you like a 50% sell on fee percentage? No. <laughs> no, he's. Uh, He's not coming. Sorry. Sorry, guys. He's uh, he's not coming. That's a shame. Meanwhile, we've also got a goalkeeper called King Primo. Oh, we've got to have him. Get his report card. Definitely. King Prima. And then we've got somebody called You Won't Know. Let's get some scouting on them. Oh, Fowz is coming. Finally. Don't know whether he's any better than what I've already got, but we'll soon find out. I'm very excited by the idea of a goalie called King Prima. I hope he's good, that'd be great. Right, here we go. Here's Kasim. Yeah, he's not the best, is he? Not really, but we'll we'll see how he plays. Right, King Prima's awesome. Unfortunately. Looks like he might Oh look, cheap! Cheap! Oh my god, King Prima, you've got to come! You've got to! Yes! Yes! Awesome, that's brilliant. And uh, you will know who, funnily enough, is a central defender. Damn it. I've just got one in. How much does he want? Oh, he wants loads of money. Right, we're not having him then. And uh, Persa Wangi have offered Hartono on a free transfer. Are you that desperate to get rid of him? Really? The thing is, I've just put in a bid for King Primo. I, I don't know that I want this guy, because he doesn't look that great to me, so... Uh, I see your trick, but the answer is no, I'm going for King Prima. Yes! 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 
King Primer. <laughs> oh, it could be Primer. King Primer. Oh, wow. He's got the potential to be a lot better than his current level of ability. How exciting. Better get to training ground straight away and set his training focus. He's our first foreigner, as you can see there. There'll be many, many more to come, I can promise you. I'll just take the opportunity here to put some people on some different training. And uh, how are we doing with coaches? Could really do with fitness coach. Go back to the staff search and see if I can get anybody. There's one there. A guy called Nasir. Would he come in? Oh, he will. Right, Mr Nasir, would you like to come in and make us fitter, please? I think you probably would. And while I'm here, let's see if we can get somebody better. Just more generally than that about things. He's a mentality type coach, but he's a goalkeeping coach. Tactics? Oh no, he's actually a player, that guy. I wonder if he would come in just on a coaching... No. <laughs> no, he would not. Fine. We've got the youth. Lots of people... The youth there, and the mental attributes. Is he quite there? He's a goalkeeping coach, but he's actually better than my scout. I need decent scouts. Nah, that's no good. That's no good. Right, if I go back to the boardroom then, where hopefully they won't say you're fired, because they might do, Um, I can get another scout and another physio. Physio. So let's interact with the board. And see if they'll let me have anything. Junior coaching. I would think that we should increase our junior coaching budget. Oh, they've agreed. They've agreed. Yes. Then I think we should also have a youth recruitment network, maybe. No, trial day. Increase our scouting range. I think we should get a parent club so for some extra income if you say we've got no money. We believe that any income would be negligible. Are you kidding me? The financial benefits from this will really help the club grow. No. You see, you're wanting money and then... You won't grant that. That's pathetic. Okay, how about some more coaches? Let's get some more coaches in, please. No, they're refusing that as well. It's very disappointing. After considering what you said, we've decided to grant your request. Two more coaches. I can have two more coaches. The problem is there's nobody worth having. I'm very excited, though, that the junior coaching budget has increased. That, that's awesome. Right, we'll have a quick pop back to the uh, staff search. Also, we'll have a quick look at what the next fixture is. It's the under-20s again. OK, so coaching attributes. Is anybody worth having? Defensively, no. He's kind of good at various things, isn't he? He's very determined. Do you want to come in? Just, I've got room for you now. So if you come in, I'm sure you'll improve. Um, fitness, we know we can't really have. Mentality. Technique. How about you, Mr. Sabtu? He's not great, is he? He's quite disciplined, but he's not really that brilliant. There are not many good coaches around at the moment, which is quite sad. Um, no, none of those are really very appealing. They might have to come back. Mr Abdullah. He's not much of a goalkeeping coach, but his mental stuff, his mental stuff is quite good. Would you just sign as a normal coach? Just maybe for a year or two? Cheap? Oh, actually, yes, he would come in. Right, there we go. Mental coach. Excellent. They're taking the time over deciding, though, aren't they? The under-20 is going to have played again before I get these coaches in. Mm, they actually are. They're thinking over it, that's the thing. They're thinking over it because they're going, do I really want to go there? Because it looks crazy. There we go. Oh no, the under 20 is actually lost. I wonder where they are at the moment in the league. Should we have a quick a quick look? Um Tactics, fixtures. Where's the Oh it's there. Oh we're the top. 
They're clear by four points and loads of goal difference because they just can't stop scoring. Well, that's something. And then here come my new coaches. Fantastic. They're in. Into the training. Um, into the coaching area. Auto assign all. Look, did you see that? Aerobics went up a little bit there. Now two and a half stars in strength, two stars in aerobics, three in both goalkeeping, two and a half in tactics and two in everything else, which I think is a huge improvement. That's excellent. Even if my training facilities are, frankly, awful. I'm really, really pleased with that. That should really help. And let's see if the board let me have Nasir as a fitness coach, because they might say we don't need one. Please, early Christmas present. Yes! Excellent. They've let me have him. We've got one more game. Um, we will uh, we'll quickly play that before the end. So we battered bacteria. Yes, we do. But we've got to keep working hard. jamaluddin has been absent with injury. Um, I don't think it's appropriate to discuss this right now. Maju Holdings will be looking to take advantage of having the first leg at home. Yeah, that's really not, not going to happen, but I'm confident. I'm confident. Is it an advantage to play away from home first? Well, um, no, I'm, I'm not sure that it is, to be honest, but I will say that it is and praise our fans. We're playing a real minnow in the FA Cup. Just, just hold that thought. I would settle for a very boring victory by the favourites today. And Prima, King Prima is available for the match. Will you be putting him straight in? I won't be discussing my team sheet at this time because I don't actually know. And uh, is there going to be an upset? Um, no. We were going to make sure complacency doesn't become an issue. <laughs> you seem confident. Will that attitude drop on your pleasant? Yes, that yes, it will. How do you rate your chances of success in this competition? I think we've got a good chance of a successful campaign. Lies, lies, Lies. We haven't got a hope, but hey, Maju Holdings, who are almost certainly some sort of, I don't know, IT company or something. Surely we're going to beat them. Surely. If we don't, I'm going to cry. Right. Come on then, Mr. Ishmael. Oh, <gasps> King Prima, he's in and so is Fauzi, so he is better. He is better than Ming Fei. Okay. Well, Napai's back as well. This is looking good. Two new players. Hopefully awesome. I feel a bit worried because obviously my uh, my other goalie was actually pretty good. But if King Prima's going to be better than that. What an awesome name for a goalkeeper. Just utterly awesome. Right, guys, I'm going to calmly tell you that you need to go out there and grab a win. <gasps> so excited. Here we go. Opening fixture of the FA Cup. The FAC Cup. <laughs> Uh, and already the ball is going in the wrong direction. Oh, no, it isn't. Hang on a minute. Yes, it is. Sorry, which side are we again? Oh, purple, purple. That's right, purple. They've got a player with the same name as mine. That was a bit confusing then. Right, strip Moran, what the heck was that, please? That didn't go anywhere near any of our players. Do something better. Here comes Napai. We do like a bit of Napai. Oh, he's been fouled. He's been fouled. Come on. Who's going to take it? Who's going to take it? Who's that? Is it the man? No, it's Hakim. Yes. Oh, yes. Finally, he's worked out where the goal is. That was stunning. Can we have a replay, please? Oh, check this out, guys. Oh, what a goal. Well, Hakim, I'm glad that you've watched the videos and realised that you have to get it under the bar, not over the bar. Oh, Hakim, again! But he scored again! Well, good grief. You've learnt your lesson about which sport you're supposed to be playing. Check this out. Is he offside? No, he isn't. What a goal. That's shut the crowd up. Good lord. Oh, he's at it again! Ah. Oh. So close, so close. That would have been awesome. Natural hat trick in about two minutes. Can Mr. Hakim get a hat trick? 
That's the question now. I'm so excited for him. This is brilliant. Right. Um, Mr. Referee, do you want to get out of the way? No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Pff. Honestly. Madu Holdings. You just let Madu Holdings score. What are you thinking, you fools? I don't want to see it again. Stop the replay. Stop the replay. Oh. Th King Prima. I think you'll find that my last goalkeeper would have come out and taken that. I'm not impressed. If King Prima turns out to be a bust, he's getting sold, you know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do we want to mark Othman, please? I don't know who he is, but he seems to be trying to make a name for himself. Right, here we got Napai. Oh. The man has taken the ball off them, but it's a throw-in. Well, I'm not impressed that they've scored, so I'm going to calmly say, don't get complacent. And I've made everybody furious, but don't get complacent. We've talked about this in the press conference, have we not? Here we go, then. Give it to the man. Give it to somebody. Just give it now. No, don't do that. <gasps> Napai! Oh! He's back! Right, come on, guys. Don't hack me off here, please. <sighs> That's not good. They are getting complacent and they know it. Don't make me substitute you all, please. Risky header back by Stripman from there. Right, come on, Hakeem, get a hat trick. <gasps> Straight across the face of the goal. And Chanturu could not keep that in. Here comes the man with the corner. Nope. Here comes the man. He's going to deliver it back in. And. Oh! Goalie didn't quite know what he was doing there, I feel. We've got a throw in. Come on, Omar. Do something. <laughs> You don't do a lot. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Kapow! Meanwhile, Mr. Man has got done there. I need to make some substitutions, you know. Let me just pause it for a moment. That's probably cheating. Who should we take off? Mr. Hakim's had an amazing game. Let's put on... Um, let's put on Mr. Prakash, because he's not, he's not really had... A game so far. I'll put him on there. And uh, we'll put... Who else hasn't played much? Mr. Sulia Mine. <laughs> but he's only an attacking midfielder. He needs to also be a, a centre midfielder. So we'd better just adjust his training quickly. But I'll put you on anyway. There we go. I'll replace my entire central defence. Central midfield, even. Hope for the best. I can't even tell which bit of the field's defence and which bit of it's midfield. Oh! Whoa, whoa, what's going on here, guys? No. Just say I'm not very impressed with King Prima. He is not a Prima goalie. He might be a bit of a Prima Donna. Right, can we get the ball off them? Just, just get it off them, because this isn't good. Oh, thank God he was offside. Phew. Right, two of you are coming off now because you've been rubbish. Can we give Hakeem a hat trick, please? Oh! <gasps> well, that was stupid, Hakeem, wasn't it? You just... No. Don't ever do that again. That was terrible. They've had way too much of the ball. You're not even a football team. Right, thank you, Prima, for actually doing something worth doing. Right, come on, Mr. Man, sort it out. Go on, Hakeem, go on. Nope. Well, thank goodness we won that. That was a bit dodgy. I'm not being funny, but it really was. Phew. Oh, well. My uh, attacking coach dude thinks that we should tell them that they did well, to be honest with you. I'm just going to calmly say that uh, I'm happy, but only calmly. I'm not going to get excited. Mr. Man ran quite a lot further than a lot of other people in that, I have to say. Well done, Mr. Man. 
Right. Oh, Ibrahim appreciates Gary Stephen, does he? Well, so do I, but he won't come and play for me. Right, I'm going to quickly tell everybody how great uh, Hakim was, and then we can all leave. So, a win is a win. Were there any worries for you when they pulled it back to 2-1? Yes. <laughs> I was edgy. Hakim had a great game. Yes, he did. He was faultless. And there we go. The Hakim show delights Jenny. I love it. Right, well, you can come back in the next episode for the second leg of the most exciting FA Cup draw in the whole world. Hopefully I will see you next time, if there is a next time. Gameplay Jenny